The world is too huge to grasp. Matthew Dickman. Still, Tiger, there's no reason not to tie your wife up if that's what she's been dreaming about in traffic. No reason not to go out and eat 20 donuts if that's what you want instead of granola. Because whether you like it or not, it's a skeleton you're wearing under those Italian jeans. For my part, I'm going to watch hours of television wearing nothing but a pair of running shoes. I'm going to walk out into the yard and begin courting the rose bushes. I'm not going to let a little thing like the world stand in my way. Why should I? I understand it as much as I understand penguins, and I still go to the zoo. I still watch them swimming underwater. It's like watching really beautiful gods moving within a universe that other taller gods built for them out of compassion and ingenuity. It would be easy to sit at the bar, smoking, drinking, ruminating about the why of penguins, pulling our hair out, crying into our gin, about how the penguins have forsaken us, how nature is having another party and we're not invited. I like the world in all its incredible forms. When I've had the shit beat out of me, my friends who have died their violent and accidental deaths, falling from windows, swerving into the lights of traffic, my suffering, my unearned joy, my hand reaching up through the yards of fabric that made your dress. The midnight movies. All the kids huffing all the paint thinners. The comedy of the poor and the ruthlessness of the rich. How we're too hungry to fight. Too crushed by debt and the psycho promise of there's always tomorrow, of rent to own, the smell of carrots, the smell of gasoline, the mysteries of bread and wine, the sky in Montana with Laura beneath it, the sky in Portland, when my brother was buried in his little tin of ash. The happiness of love and the pity of sex. The bathroom stalls, the fruit markets. Rob proposing on one knee wearing a panda costume. Sweating inside the fake fur, his bride in love. The quarterback's son, paralyzed from the neck down and then gone. The fear and fetish of genitals. The way we beat ourselves into our suits and high heels. I see how we are with each other. I see how we act. It's not the world with its 10 zillion things we should be grasping, but the sincerity of penguins, the mess we made of the roses.